We went and saw Venom, even though everybody said it was going to suck. But we did not think it was going to suck because JJ posted a million things on our Instagram saying that, man, this movie is going to be freaking awesome. I did? It's going to be so awesome. Well, I got to so, go post those now. <laughs> this time on Miscast Entertainment Movie Reviews. We are Miscast. Here's Johnny. I love the smell of my cup in the morning. Get to the Boat. Welcome back, you miscast miscreants, to another episode of Miscast Movie Reviews with your host, JJ. Hello. Seattle's only Daisy Von Dutch. <laughs> wearing the coolest tank I've ever seen in my entire life. Nice. And this is me, your simple host, William Davis Moore, who has an English accent when things arise to such an occasion. Boners? Boners? <laughs> Boners arise. Saggy balls and boners. Well, I had saggy balls for this movie anyway. Really? I had right. a big boner. <laughs> yeah, I know you did. <laughs> How about you, Daisy? What would you think? I loved it. Totally. Yes? It. You're on the love yes. it team. I'm, I'm, on the, I'm on the one side of this team. William, once again, as in society, you're a minority. Oh, damn. <laughs> this movie is called what? Venom? Venom. Well, I thought it was Venom to my veins. Ooh. And second, um, it's 112 minutes, um, so it's a lot minutes. of it's a lot of Venom. <laughs> oh, glorious! <laughs> so, so it's got a 31 percent on Rotten Tomatoes by the critics. By the way, they're on my side. Yeah. So 89 percent audience rating. So the audience is on your side. Yes. I'm Eddie Brock. I found something really bad. Eddie, who said that? Who said that? We are Venom. It's directed by Ruben Fleischer. From Zombieland. Yeah, man. I was so surprised when I heard that. I was not. I mean, uh, one of the things that I loved about this movie was the fact that it was an amazing buddy movie. And nobody does it better than uh, the Fleischman. Yeah, he does. Like uh, the Woody Harrelson uh, yeah. relationship w with... Uh, what's Montana, Dakota, Arizona. I forgot what his fucking name was. Lex Eisenberg. Luther. Yeah. yeah, Jesse Eisenberg. Lex yeah. Luthor. <laughs> yeah, uh, that relationship is probably the best part of that whole entire movie. Actually, the whole dynamic between uh, the tree or the, the quad of them. Yes, to me, yeah. that was the movie. Yeah. yeah, that was the movie. It was produced by Avi Arad. And just to throw it out there, because I know you love this kind of stuff, He's rumored to be the reason that Venom got shoved into Spider-Man 3 and Topher Grace is all his fault because he's loved Venom so much right. that he wanted to shove that shit right into Sam Raimi's butthole. Whenever you shove shit into buttholes, it's never like a good thing. Um, I mean, if you know anything about like anal sex and stuff, it's always polite to be invited in there, <laughs> you know, uh, or else it's just very uncomfortable. Never wound. What you can't kill. Uh, it stars Tom Hardy. Great actor. Yep. Tom Hardy is really good. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody cared about him until he put on the mask. All right, so we got Michelle Williams, the uh, the ex-wife of the Joker. The Joker. Yeah. Heath Ledger, the man. The croaker. The legend, the croaker. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> she hasn't said a goddamn thing the whole time. Uh, maybe Wait. it's the three-hour delay. Yo, Max Hedrone with boobs. <laughs> What's up? point out that this was classified as a thriller science film. Did you say thriller, thriller science film? That's that, what it's being classified yeah. as out there on the mm. interweb. Yeah. They call it a thriller a thriller science, science fiction thing. film. Okay. And, and PG-13? What the hell? Yeah, they, couldn't, they didn't show a lot of blood. I realized that. There was a couple scenes where Venom does this stuff, but there weren't like... the. You never saw the bloody aftermath. No, you actually didn't see him bite someone's head off. There was the in, the intention of the head being bitten off, but and they speak about it, but you didn't see it. So you're right, maybe I classifies. But yeah, thriller. I was, uh, I was like, no, this was thrilling. I loved it, but thriller, no. Well, to me, it was more like honestly, like th this. This is my like non-spoiler review. If yeah, I let's, may. let's hear your review. Venom at its heart is a dark comedy about a loser parasite who finds a loser host and combines to form something truly special. It's a poorly conceived first act, but when the two characters merge, the movie becomes one of the best buddy films 
since Rush Hour. No shit. This is one of the best buddy movies since Rush Hour, and I'll tell you why. Tom Hardy doesn't understand Please. a word that's coming out of his mouth, and Venom is constantly hungry. I'm on vacation, man, and I want some moo shoe. Moo shoe? You hungry? No, Lee, not moo shoe. Some moo shoe. Ruben Fleischer of Zombieland <laughs> fame <laughs> does a great job at, uh, at bonding people together. And uh, that, that's definitely something that happened here because there was a lot of talk about you know, bringing in other characters into this movie, but uh, he really, the director did a really good job at just focusing on Tom Hardy in the symbiote, just kind of becoming yeah. best friends. <clears throat> yeah. And I loved the Venom in this movie. Like he wasn't, you know, there's a lot of comic, bur- comic book nerds out there who are like, oh my God, this isn't the Venom that I've read about, you know, blah, 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 you know. But uh, yeah. honestly, this was a, representation of venom not the venom that you know it's a different venom it's almost like um you know like when they when they say oh based on true events or based on uh based on a book or based on a story or based on characters by it was the same sort of thing tom hardy is yes. literally the worst reporter i've ever seen in a movie he I mean he's awful yes he only becomes really good when venom as venom joins joins him so like that's why I think th- th- there's a brilliance in the movie making here because it wasn't that Brock needed Venom. It really was that Tom Hardy needed Venom. Tom Hardy does not start acting well until he he does the symbiotic relationship yeah. with Venom. Yeah. Does it yeah. come with that? It's like a body condom. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I thought the movie was like really cool. I thought it was it was uh, a really good like buddy film at the end of the day. You get to see like Venom's romantic side. There's a part where Brock uh, is mean to like his girlfriend or fiance. He lies to her about something and yeah. uh, he tells him, look, dude, you know, you shouldn't apologize for that. And and he does. And you, you see like the romantic side. Right. And the action sequences I thought were slightly generic, but there are some really cool like CGI pieces where you see like the symbiotes really kind of like evolve and separate and merge and it was something that i had never seen before so yeah i i agree with a lot of what you said and i disagree with a lot of what you said but daisy what do you think overall i really really like this movie i i wasn't expecting a whole lot um because you know i don't also i don't i haven't followed the comics on venom as much as i have the other characters you know but so I wasn't expecting a whole lot, and I was pleasantly surprised. I really enjoyed it. I, I know I, as some people said, well, it, it jumped around a lot. It was a little bit messy. Um, I don't know. I feel like it was good. It, it followed a plot. It followed a line. Um, I liked the, the – I agree with JJ. Totally agree with him. Um, he was sucky as a reporter, but as Venom, he totally freaking thrived, and he came out, and it was amazing. Yes. Um, I did like I did like a lot of the 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 storytelling on how Venom is and who he, who he is and how he came about. Um, for me, that was cool because, like I said, I never followed the comics, so it was like, oh, this is Venom. I know it's a little bit separate from the comic, but it gave life to Venom for me. So I really enjoyed that. Yeah, I really, I have to say, it was a, it was a good movie. Seattle what do you think, William? Uh, well, I'll tell you what I think. What? Look, I went in there. I thought it was going to be shit. It was shit. Sorry. Sorry, guys. It was shit. You know why it was shit? Because it wasn't Venom. It wasn't Venom at all. It had nothing to do with Venom. They they took like, oh, there's an alien symbiote. Let's throw it in the movie. Great. I'm Sony. Let's fuck something else up. Because that's what they did. Venom, as far as special effects, design, Tom Hardy and everything, amazing. Great. Perfect. Their relationship as a symbiote and uh, Brock, amazing. Great. The, the chemistry, awesome. I, I loved all that. As far as like being part of the Spider-Verse, no, 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 no. What Spider-Verse are we in? So, William, all you're saying is you enjoyed the dynamic, you enjoyed the movie. The only thing you did not enjoy is that your expectations were different than the characters you knew. No. If you're going in there to see a coherent story also, 
You're not going to get it because there are plenty of times. What where was be, not coherent about that be, story? There's going to be plenty of times where you're like, oh, well, what happened to the character development that made these things happen? Like what? Tell me one I can, example I can, of that. It's not the spoiler review. Oh, oh God damn it. Yeah, I can't. I'm sorry. Well, listen, guys, please <laughs> hey, stay tuned for the spoiler that's, review. That's my review. Because shit's going to get lit. Yeah, shit's going to get lit for sure. Yeah. This is a, I'm going to fist the cuffs to you. Fist I'm going to fist the cuffs. No, oh, you're on my D, team. We did double D. <laughs> a double D's on my team, and that's all that matters. She's in Seattle, and as you know, <laughs> Seattleans hey. are always right. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, guys. Please. That's our non-spoiler review. Hope you liked it. Go um, watch the movie. Yeah, go watch the movie because watch the spoiler the review is about to get heated, yo. Low your expectations. Don't expect like the Venom from the comic books, but I think you can have a really good time with the movie. It's fun. It's a good buddy yeah, movie. I'm not going to tell you buddy not to film. watch it. I'm just going to say you're going to be sad you spent your money. I'm saying watch it. Spend your money. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. As always, if you like our content, hit that subscribe button. And if you want to see more, hit the bell. Check us out on miscastentertainment.com where we throw up a lot of articles that are cool as shit. Double she's D Dining. Cool, she's got, yeah, Double D Dining on YouTube. And yeah. she's got a cool ass shirt. Yeah, I great love. chef. And can you show yeah. us the. Oh, look at those. Yeah. Shirts. Awesome shirt. Awesome shirt. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you next time. Peace. Anything? Come here. <laughs> oh, my spine. Yeah. Anything to add? What the fuck? <laughs> Welcome to Miss Cass Entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> we are.